Dr. Jonathan Wilhelm. Uh, my profession is a uh, chiropractic physician. I come out of Bozeman, Montana, and I'm working with uh, Team USA Bobsled Skeleton. Yeah. Well, you know, an elite athlete, um, they're so precise. You know, everything's measured and precise. That their, their nutrition is is right. Uh, their their rest and relaxation and recovery needs to be correct. Um, and, and so training the elite athlete takes everything you've done with the normal population and you fine tune it down. Almost like an athlete has been training their whole life to get to that next level, a great medical provider trains their whole life and gets different skills and different tools and different modalities uh, to then help that athlete. Well, you know, uh, if you're fine tuning uh, your treatments with an athlete, um, you know what you'll do is you'll, you'll instead of trying three or four different things with that athlete you know maybe in the clinic you'll you'll try some manual therapy and some TheraBand and some kinesio tape and kinesiology tape or, or whatever um, with it with a, a an elite athlete you may try one thing and just tweak that a little you'll talk with the coaches you'll look at film you'll add that and you'll see how it improves or changes their performance so sometimes less is more so the elite athlete I think you're, you're more specific about what you're doing and you know when to say that's enough rather than to pile everything on all of us. A periodization that happens when you're training uh, an athlete off season so you're building strength and power for instance in the off season and you're doing more sports specific stuff as you get closer to the season and then you're, you're all about maintaining um, as you're going through. So, so your, your performance is still improving, but it's not like you're trying to build more power when you're right in. And so you have to you know, work well with strength and conditioning and uh, it's a team effort together with that athlete to make sure that they periodize, they reach that full potential and maintain. I mean, that's where the skill comes in of a, a great chiropractic sports physician is, is we do um, have functional movement analysis. We can look and we know how the body moves. We're trained to, to, to do everything from static palpation to motion palpation to functional movement analysis um, to look at uh, uh, functional muscle testing. There's a number of different things that you can do, uh, patterns of how the body moves, fascial slings. And so you may not be painful right at that joint, but that doesn't mean there's not a problem somewhere along the genetic chain. And that's one of the fun parts. It's kind of the detective part of what I get to do is dial down, figure out where the dysfunction is, control that, help the athlete through that, communicate with him what we're trying to do. And uh, hopefully that results in better performance. If there's no research on what bobsledders and skeleton athletes do you yeah. know where where else do you have a, a a sport where you're pushing a sled and you have an open chain and a closed chain all at once and you dive on and uh, you're rattled all the way down the hill we know what sprinters do and we can quantify that with all sorts of tools and so no you don't throw it out you take the best about what you know in treating that powerful linear linear athlete and then you look at rotation and you look at how the body should move and you know the body um, responds in consistent patterns but it takes a little more thought to understand what is that body doing and that's the advantage of working with a team consistently for some years pretty soon you find hey there's some consistent patterns that happen you know the glutes not firing here or we're inhibited in this area um, the thoracic spine isn't rotating as it should when that athlete is pushing off and that's resulting in the painful dysfunction or the slower time or whatever Two big things, uh, self-myofascial release, that's important. So they have tools and devices that they travel with for self-myofascial release. And then stabilization. So um, certainly they have areas that are too tight that need loosened. That's where the self-myofascial release comes in. And that aren't firing right or need to be activated. Um, so so it's, it's loosen the tight, tighten the loose. So, uh, you know, we, we are giving them bands and obviously they're doing strength training but uh, it, again another valuable tool that we have the nice thing about kinesiology tape as you know is it moves with the athlete 
Um, I, it gives great afferent impulse uh, stimulus to the to the system to the neurological system.